is a bantamweight clash between Arenio Galindez from uh, the Philippines, a late uh, last minute challenger taking on the Australian Vic Mortimer. We saw yesterday at the weigh in, Mortimer has an enormous height advantage. Yeah, he looked pretty rough. It seemed like a really hard weight cut for him. Galindez is a little bit older. And, and also, Mortimer has a reach advantage. Mortimer has great hands. I expect to see him use his boxing in this fight. You can see there on the touch of the gloves, an enormous height advantage for Mortimer. But can he use that to his advantage as we start round one, this first five minutes of action. Arenio Galindez gets straight into it. No padding of the gloves. They're both in black shorts, but uh, Mortimer with that pale body after an Aussie winter. And Arenio Galindez straight from Manila with the bronze torso. Mortimer straight into it. We don't know too much about Galinez. Uh, but from, from what he's told us, we think that his strengths are knees and elbows. And he, he, he has told me that he believes Mortimer's weakness is defending kicks. We'll see what, well, it's gonna be hard to kick from the bottom, <laughs> huh? Certainly is Mortimer. Maybe his strategy is to get it on the ground and just squeeze the life out of this Filipino. Maybe a little short of conditioning the, the men from the Philippines with two weeks to prepare for this fight. Now Mortimer gets to the mount position. This is bad news for Galinas. I don't think he has such a strong grappling base. Yeah, he, he was telling me the other day, he uses the Sabrina fighting system with Emmanuel Sabrina, who is in his corner today, is the undefeated kickboxing champion of the Philippines. He fights at 47 kilos, which as you can imagine is quite a diminutive weight and he doesn't get too many fights but uh, he's developed the system based on kickboxing so as Vaughan says it's not going to be much use oh he almost got back up to his feet I like that what I saw from Galinas just there Mortimer has uh, been very unsuccessful at the legend fighting championship uh, 14 and 4 overall but 0 and 2 up here near China, so uh, he'd like to turn that around, I'm sure. That being said, Mike, I do believe that Mortimer gave our champion, Yao Hong Gun, the toughest fight he's ever had. Well, that's right, those, both those losses were to the belt contenders in the end. Jo Nam Jin from Korea, and Yao Hong Gun, the leprechaun, who won the belt in Legend Fighting Championship 5. So far, it's been all Mortimer. He's had the top, he's had the, the takedown and the top position the whole time, but he hasn't really done too much damage, I don't think. Now he's got Mal, this is a bad position. Now he's got the back. Galena's got to watch out oh. for the choke. It looks like he's sinking it in. Will we see a submission oh. from Mortimer? Must not sleep. You can see that Galena's has his chin down, <clears throat> so he should be a little bit safe for now, but he can't stay there forever. We're only halfway through the first round of this three round clash. Oh, this is bad for Galinas. He's getting some real leverage on that hold now. Look, he's trying to go for the foot. Can you see he's trying to go for the ankle lock? Yeah. Mortimer's crossed his feet. It's possible that he can, he can submit Mortimer here. He's at least escaped the choke. Mm -hmm. Go work for the Filipino. As we've seen so often, these Filipinos are gutsy competitors. Never give up easily, that's for sure. Definitely. Have a great fighting culture in the Philippines. <laughs> None of them seem to respect Pacquiao, though. Yeah. <laughs> you were telling me the other day, you reckon he'd give him a go? I don't know. All, all the Filipino M MMA fighters tell me that they could beat Pacquiao in an MMA fight. I'm not so sure about that. Now Mortimer's peppering the body, going for the armbar. Oh. Good work, Galendez. Really? Now he's on top, dropping elbows. Still plenty of energy there in Galindez's body, hammering away. Oh, another big elbow from behind. Mortimer just sort of effortlessly getting this fight to the ground whenever he wants to. Mortimer sort of fell into MMA, started working at the Australian Zoo with the legendary naturalist Steve Irwin, and uh, fell in with the security guys for Irwin, Dan Higgins and took up mixed martial arts about six or seven years ago. Now he's got a number of titles under his belt. Oh, that's a bad position for Galinas. Oh, he's going for the armbar. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, he taps out. 
Oh, good thinking on his feet there from Mick Mortimer. Saw the opportunity and grasped it immediately. Wow, what a versatile fighter. Every time we see Mick Mortimer here, he's always showing us his striking skills and he lets us know that he has a submission arsenal as well. Fantastic job from the Australian. At last, the champagne taste of success at the Legend Fighting Championship for Australian Mick the Mortician Mortimer. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here of uh, this uh, three minute fight. So a lot of technical stuff on the ground, Vaughn. From, from the mount position, you see, you see, we were talking about this in the last fight. When the Filipino puts his arms up like that, he's vulnerable for the armbar, and that's exactly what Mortimer took advantage of. Boom. Just grasped it straight away, then he saw the elbow there. And... Yeah, it's the beauty of MMA. When you're having trouble with the submission, you punch him in the face. It's amazing how many opportunities just Let's arise. <laughs> Here's Vivek Pabubani. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Roger Chow has called the stop to this contest at 4 minutes 20 seconds of the first round. Roger Chow has a good way of getting a safe choice. Yung Ama, you're going to go to the front of the For the winner by submission due to an armbar, Michael Mortimer! So that pulls Michael Mortimer out to 15 and 4, a very respectable record in the bantamweight division. And who knows, maybe he'll get a shot at the title with Yao Honggang in the future. Yeah, what a great kid. Hope to see him again.